Today's going to be the big day that I'm going to be doing probably the most amount of work all at once on the basement here. Just because it's like a lot of, it's not really a big job, it's just it's a lot of tedious stuff. So the plan today, if I can get this thing to focus, there we go, is I have to move all my, all this computer stuff and the desk and then I have to cut the power which I have power running everywhere I gotta follow it, see what goes to what alright, take out all the power through here I'm gonna take out this wall completely so this wall will be completely gone and this computer will no longer be hooked up and then uh, that's gonna be I think that's gonna be the biggest all at once thing that I'm gonna be doing today so let's get that started. All right, so I just got all the stuff removed. So now I'm down to uh, down to just the the boards and everything. So the way it's looking, I was following the lines, and it looks like we're pulling power from the light switch. So we have to. I think I might have to wire this, rewire this up to a different light or something. So, I gotta disconnect it from there, from that outlet, because it feeds all the way through here. This thing is always blurry. So I reconfigured how all this is going to go. <sighs> so, instead of, because apparently my power is coming from here, somehow. We have a wired all funky up there, where it gets direct power and it's not on a switch. So... So what we're going what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna completely take the rest of this wire out all the way across, all the way through and everything. And then I'm going to take it from here and I'm gonna run it back through these floor joists over to this side here. And I'm gonna run it all the way down here to where the wall is gonna be. And I'm gonna drill a hole right there and run it down here back into the outlet. And then we'll get our We'll get our direct power again, and that way we don't have to worry about the wall either. Just to verify there's no power anywhere on either side. So yeah, we're good. So I'm going to have to run new wiring, so I'm actually just going to cut all these off. It's really stuck on one little corner. Ridiculous. There we go. 
done. I got everything drilled right here through all my floor joist. I just have to undo this light here so I can take out this old wire. Because it is definitely not long enough to go where I need it to go. So I'm going to take this part real quick, run my wire around where I just drilled all my holes, and then connect everything up.
that's all done, wired back up and everything. So let's go uh, turn on the turn the power back on and see if we uh, see if we blow up or not. But what I ended up doing is I took out the wire from there, as you saw, ran the new wire across the subfloor, and then it runs all the way down here where the outlet is. I gotta go get some staples and staple those up, but that's, uh, that's where everything is for right now. But I'm gonna go flip the breaker back on and see if it shorts out or not. So, ooh, look, there's light again. Lights on over there. Oh yeah, we're good. We did something. We got something done, start to finish. So that was uh, quite interesting. So, breaker didn't go off or anything, so I guess we hooked it up the right way. So, yeah, that's that. Yeah.